Hey, what's up? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. It is Tasty Tuesday, and we are about to get into these two very good hydrating green juices that I think most people will enjoy, especially if you like a good sweet um, juice for sure. So we're going to start off with the cucumber, pineapple, and lime juice. I really like this drink, especially for like summer and spring when I'm feeling a little dehydrated or when I'm working out a lot. We all know that cucumber helps with uh, preventing dehydration. We know it is packed with vitamin K and it is low in calories. It also has potassium in it and it is a very high water content vegetables. One of the higher ones, definitely. So you might want to try to get this into your body daily if you are feeling a little bit of dehydration or you don't get enough water. I would always say go for water first and then add this as a extra boost to your daily diet. Now for the original recipe, I usually use three cucumbers to one, I about say medium sized pineapple and one lime. We're going to double this recipe because I want to have at least two large glasses of juice. And I normally drink one a day when I have this juice and it's just sip on it all day. It's just really good and hydrating. And to be honest, I like to add lime because it just brings out the flavor in the juices for me. Even though we all know that lime helps to uh, promote healthy skin, it also helps to aid in iron uh, absorption. So if you are taking iron or you're trying to absorb more iron into your body, you can add lime to your juices or to your meals. Like as in if you're making salads and you make salad dressings, add a little bit of lime and it will help with that iron absorption. I think one of my favorite things to juice, I would say, is pineapple. I would say watermelon first, then pineapple. It's something about pineapple, the flavor of pineapple, what it does to my skin. I like the fact that it is anti-inflammatory and it is high in vitamin C. So I'm getting the benefits of the pineapple, but I really like the way it tastes. I like to eat pineapple as well. So I'm one of those ones that like to eat pineapple daily or at least get it in a juice. Now, normally we would wash the skin, make a pineapple water for our teas, but I'll still have some in the refrigerator and I have some frozen as well. So we're good on that. I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of these pineapple skins into my compost. Now, the juicer that we're using today is the Nama J2 juicer. It will be linked down below. It's always linked in my link tree if you're interested. This is one of the most um, common, most hyped <laughs> juicers out there on the market, I should say. I love it. It is a huge capacity juicer. I actually have the strainer to go with it. I'm going to show you just how well this juicer actually works. Um, you really don't need a strainer for what we're making today. But I'm just going to show you just how well it actually juices the fruits and the vegetables. Now, as you see here, I can put a lot of cucumbers into the hopper. Once I close the lid, I turn it on and I just let it go. I like the fact that I can make a lot of juice at one time and just have the juice in, either for freezing, making popsicles, have it for in my refrigerator, um, for up to about a good four days. I just make sure I fill the juice up into the top so no air gets into my jars. But those are 32 ounce jars that I will be using for today. And yeah, like I said, the hopper is quite large. These pineapples were very ripe, like very juicy. They had been sitting in my refrigerator. Then I took them out, sat them upside down so the juices can flow through the pineapple and they were very juicy. So it made a lot of juice for me and um, yeah. Now I did read somewhere uh, where they say an overconsumption of pineapple can cause like nausea and diarrhea. I think that's an overconsumption of anything <laughs> at this point. We all know how it goes. So I would say everything is in moderation. Now, I, although I eat pineapple daily, I don't consume large amounts of it because my tongue would actually just, yeah, would just be irritated from the acid. But I love pineapples and I definitely like it. Um, I feel like I'm cutting the pineapple by adding the cucumber. It just gives it that extra thin water aspect to it. You know what I mean? Like adding water or something like that. Of course, I'm going to drink mine with ice to cut it even more. But I can sip on this all day long and it's just an added benefit. Now, if you're just juicing, this is a really good meal replacement if you're doing a just juicing throughout the day. Um, 
I would always just say, just keep making sure you drink water. So as you see, that recipe made me two large jars and just a little corner that I sipped on uh, before I moved on to the next juice. So we're going to move over to the next green juice of choice and it is going to be a pear cucumber with a little bit of lemon juice. I really like this one as well because pears are in season. So y'all know me, pears and apples, when they're in season, I load up. And actually, right now, all these have their pears. I think it's three pounds for $2.99. And when they do that, I either chop them up and freeze them for like smoothies or I like to go ahead and juice them. Now, pears do contain copper, okay? They also contain like iron, calcium, magnesium, zinc, um, most of the minerals that you need for your body, especially as we get older, we start to not uh, produce as much. That's why I'm a huge fan of Organics Nature. Sea moss is also linked in my link tree if you're interested. But um, this also have beneficial vitamins as A, A, E, and B1, okay? So if you're interested in adding a little bit more benefits to your body, check out pears. They're really good, mild in flavor, and adds a little bit of sweetness. So if you're not a huge fan of all the sugary sweet juices that contain, you know, like pineapples and and the uh, more flavorful apples, then go ahead and try pear. It's a little bit mild, like I said, in flavor, but you're still going to get the benefits that you need for your body. So I'm going to add the cucumber because for me, it's just like adding water, to be honest. And it's just a, another way of hydrating my body. I like to drink these juices. I like I would say a little bit less than half before I work out and then I'll drink the rest of the half when I come from the gym. Now while I'm in the gym, I'm still consuming water. I'm still eating daily, just being more mindful of what I eat because these juices do contain quite a bit of calories as well. All right, so with a little bit of added lemon for vitamin C and to brighten up the flavor because I'll tell you, lemon will brighten up the flavor just about anything, okay? We're going to go ahead and add the rest of these pears to the hopper, juice it up, and we're going to pour it up, and we're going to be good to go for the next three days. So I've gotten quite a few messages from you all who have received your NAMA. Uh, congratulations to you. Congratulations for taking that step. I know it's a huge step. It is a big commitment. It is a high ticket price item. I think it's life-changing, though. Like, you get it, you kind of get obsessed with trying all these different recipes and trying different juices. And it's just, I don't know, something about juicing, getting that fresh juice into your body that just makes you feel good. It's like a boost of energy. Now, if you can't have a lot of sugar, make sure you check your sugar levels, your intake, and making sure you're juicing the right fruits and vegetables that you need for your body because we're all different. But these are the two green juices I'll be drinking. Let me know your thoughts on them, if you tried them or will you try them. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for your love and your support. Peace and blessings.